Officially welcome to Reardon Mansion State Historic Park. My name is Shannon Benjamin. I am a ranger here at Reardon Mansion. At Reardon Mansion State Park, we protect and preserve the 1904 home of the Reardon family. They were owners of the local lumber mill and were the largest employer in town. The Reardon Mansion came to Arizona State Parks as a gift from the second generation and the family lived here up until the 1980s. And at that point, they started having the conversation about what the future of the mansion was going to be. And they did decide to donate the home, both, both East and West House and the billiards room, to Arizona State Parks to save this place and to tell the story. Not just the story of the Reardons and early Flagstaff families, but the story of Flagstaff and what makes us unique. Flagstaff is here because of the railroad and the lumber mill and because of other families that decided to settle here and raise their families and build a community. The Reardon brothers were the sons of Irish immigrants who had settled in Chicago and they came out to Flagstaff to run the local lumber mill, which was established here to provide wood for the transcontinental railroad that was making its way west. Uh, once that rail line was completed, we've now opened up the largest ponderosa pine forest in the whole world to sending out lumber products all across the United States. So this is a unique and beautiful example of an American arts and crafts home. A really important aspect of this type of architecture is that they're using local materials and blending into the surrounding environment. They use ponderosa pine and basalt, a local volcanic rock, to construct their home. This mansion was state of the art for 1904. The architect was a gentleman named Charles Whittlesey, and Charles was the chief architect for the Santa Fe Railroad. And he was designing the iconic El Tavar Hotel, perched on the south rim of the Grand Canyon. Contacts the owners of a local lumber mill here in Flagstaff looking for some advice. They loved what he was doing, hired him to design their new home. Now, this home had indoor restrooms, hot and cold running water. They did have central heat, so each house had a big coal furnace down in the basement, and they had a simple form of air conditioning, which helps us keep it nice and cool, even in those hottest summer days. It's also a big duplex. So those two Reardon brothers married the two Metz sisters and raised their families here. They were a really close-knit family. So this 13,000 square foot home is actually a big duplex. It's two separate houses, completely self-contained, joined by the 1,000 square foot billiards room in the middle, the place where the two families come together. Well, you definitely need to come for a guided tour of the interior of the mansion. This is the only way to get inside, and it's a really unique experience to be able to uh, visit the 118-year-old home of the Reardon family to walk in their footsteps. The East House is an open-air museum, so it looks like the Reardon family has just stepped out. And this is a wonderful place to learn about Flagstaff history and about arts and craft style architecture. We are here right in the middle of town, just off Milton Road, right across from NAU University, our little hidden gym here in the middle of Flagstaff. The Rear Mansion State Historic Park is open seven days a week. We're open 9.30 to 5. We give tours on the hour every hour. The first one of the day at 10 o'clock, the last one of the day at 4 o'clock. Those tours last 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how many questions you have, and it's $12 a person for adults. If you want to make your reservations in advance, you can go to the Reardon Mansion website to purchase your tickets. You can also call our call line at 1-877-MY-PARKS. Or if you wake up in the morning and decide you want to come see us the same day, give us a call and let us make your reservation so we can be sure to get you a spot. We do have limited tour sizes. Now, if you don't have the time to spend a whole hour here at the mansion, uh, we do have another opportunity for just $2 each. You can experience the grounds. You can come here, have a picnic under the pines, visit the exhibits in the visitor center, and take the self-guided walk around the exterior of the mansion, which points out lots of the wonderful exterior architecture features and more history of the family.
And we do have a wonderful junior ranger program with a fun scavenger hunt that helps with that engagement of the kids when they're inside of the mansion. And afterwards, uh, we love giving that little pledge to help the kids help us protect Rear to Mansion and get a junior ranger badge. So there are wonderful photos and articles that you can learn more about Rear to Mansion online, uh, but you can't experience like being here walking through the mansion, walking in the Reardon's footsteps, and seeing what it was like to live here 118 years ago. That's something you can't get online, that experience. And also, every tour is gonna be a little different. So the Reardon's were wonderful storytellers and we continue that tradition. We have wonderful stories and every tour guide is gonna share a different story with you. You may learn about Timothy Reardon's childhood friend, Paul. Bunyan, maybe learn about the fairy circle or the family's six car garage. Every tour is going to be a little different and you're going to learn something new. When the Reardons lived here, this was a place of numerous family celebrations, weddings, and we continue that tradition. Uh, we have weddings here, we have special events like our Halloween storytelling tour, our holiday twilight tours, and some really wonderful fundraisers. To find out more about these special events, call the park. Um, we can let you know where to purchase tickets um, and also let you know more about our Halloween and Christmas storytelling tours and when you can purchase tickets for those. So we recommend before you come visit Reardon to check out our website and learn about what's currently happening here, get you ready for your visit. Also highly recommend visiting the Discover Flagstaff website, which is run by the Flagstaff Visitor Center. And they're gonna have information on fire restrictions. Um, also recommend checking the weather forecast, you know, whether it's gonna be monsoony or whether it's gonna be snowing, and this will help you prepare for your Flagstaff visit. And please do keep in mind that we are at 7,000 feet elevation here. So take it slow, drink lots of water, take good care of yourself. When you get here to the park, we ask that you respect this special place. So, you know, picking up your trash and following the rangers, your guide's recommendations as we go throughout the mansion and not touching things and uh, helping us uh, continue to preserve this place for future generations.